Hey there, Tommy from The Run Testers with another first run review. This video, I'm looking at a really exciting shoe, which uh, is I've been looking forward to trying for a long time. It's the Saucony um, Triumph 21. Now this doesn't come out until July in the UK, so you won't be able to buy it straight away. But this first run review will look at what my initial thoughts are on the shoe. This shoe was sent by Saucony as well. I'm not paid to um, do this review and I can say whatever I want, um, but thanks to Saucony for sending this over so that I can get an early review of this shoe into the channel. The Saucony Triumph 21 costs $160. We don't currently have a UK price. Weighs in at 280 grams or 9.9 .9 ounces for men in a size eight. The drop is 10 millimeters and the shoe is released in July. Although the Triumph 20 saw a number of updates over its predecessor, the 21's changes are largely made across the upper. The new design gets a revamped flat knit material to improve fit as well as provide breathability, along with a modified lacing system for better lockdown. The shoe features the same power and plus cushioning in the midsole and sock liner, an impressively balanced phone that manages to feel soft while still providing a good level of energy return. There's also a generous level of outsole rubber to protect that foam and deliver a high level of grip across varied road conditions. Finally, there's a heel lock design to hold the foot in place and a pull tab at the rear to make getting the shoe easier to pull on and off. The shoe is also slightly heavier than the previous version. Okay, so the fit for me in the Saucony Triumph 21 is, I'm an eight, uh, this is a size eight. It's very comfortable. I've always found the Triumph shoes very comfortable to wear. It is quite roomy in the forefoot, so if you do have a narrow foot, you might struggle with it slightly. I don't have a narrow foot, but I did feel like there was a little bit of extra space in here. There's a little bit of room in the forefoot uh, uh, in front of the toe for me, um, not enough for me to get another size in it, um, but it's, also, it's worth paying into, into consideration that there's quite a lot of space in the forefoot of the shoe. Everything else about it is really good. The lockdown fit from the new lacing system that's in there works a treat, I had no issues with it at all, and I could play around with it quite nicely to get a good fit. There's a lot of padding around the tongue section and around the ankle collar. It's a very comfortable shoe, uh, and there's a nice um, heel lock section here, which really holds the heel in place. I didn't have any issues at all on that first run that I did, so I would stay to my size in this shoe. So the first run I did today in the Triumph 21 was an interesting one, and it wasn't one that I'd normally use this shoe for. So my run today was a pretty hard effort. It was um, an hour and a half run that included warm up, cool down, uh, but it also had 20 minutes threshold pace in it. It had two lots of 10, two lots of five minute at 10k pace, five lots of one minutes at my 5k pace. So it was a pretty hefty session. And it's not a it's not a run that I would normally do without my race shoes on or my 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 fast training shoes. So it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a gamble taking out the Triumph Twenty One to do that. But what I found about the previous Triumph, the Triumph Triumph Twenty, uh, and the Triumph Twenty is a shoe that has topped our list for cushion shoes for la the whole the last year basically. Uh, and our best running shoe guide that video we we've just released, um, it came in it came up top for cushion shoes. So what I found about the previous version is that when it comes to Max Cushion shoes, the Triumph 20 was really quite a versatile cushion shoe. Um, the Power Run Plus midsole foam in it has a lot, a lot in it. it it's very, it's, it's, it's soft, um, but there's a lot of rebound in it, and it can handle running at a, a faster pace than what you'd probably expect from a Max Cushion shoe. It's very rare that I take a Max Cushion shoe out to do a run like that, um, but I wanted to try and, and see if the Triumph 21 could handle it. So that run was, run was pretty tough, um, and what I found was that the Triumph 21 is very similar to the 20. There's not many updates. The, the major updates that have been made to the 21 over the 20 are largely in the upper, and they're quite big updates. It's a definitely a different design on the upper. The material that's used to create the upper fabric is unlike in the 20s, it, where the 20s was sort of a soft um, dual layer material. Uh, this is now one piece fabric with lots of breathability in it. Uh, and it works very well. Um, I found today was 21 degrees. It's quite hot in the UK, 21 degrees. Um, and it, it felt great. It didn't feel like it was really big chunky shoe on my foot. I didn't have any issues with breathability uh, when I was running in it. So I think that's a nice, uh, I didn't have any problems with the previous Saucony Triumph uh, either, um, but this uh, it's quite a nice upper. 
Um, I, I wouldn't say it's, it's massively changed the shoe for me, but I do like it. It's not a, it's not a step backwards. Uh, the lacing system has changed as well. I didn't really notice much from that either. I've I've always found the sock and try and flying to be relatively easy to get a nice fit on, um, but this was fine as well. So for me, those updates um, not a negative, but not really a big positive for me either. It's just much of the same, and I didn't really notice a big difference from the uh, Triumph Twenty. Um, so the course of that run, I found that the on the slower sections, so my 20 minute warm up, cool down, shoe felt great. It's really a shoe that does comfortable cushioned runs very well. It's a very enjoyable shoe to do slow running in. Um, but equally, it's not a slouch. It's by no means a shoe that can only do slow long runs. Um, and I think that power on plus midsole foam really does a good job of versatility. So threshold pace, which for me was about four minute five kilometers uh, it felt great didn't have any issues with it at all felt like it could handle that very very nicely when i got up to those faster paces so my 10k pace and my 5k pace it was okay it was okay definitely better than a lot of cushion shoes that i, I could have taken out with me it wasn't i definitely wouldn't always take out the triumph 21 if i was going to do those paces my 5k pace is probably about 345 minute kilometers it wasn't designed for that but it didn't feel heavy and it didn't feel clunky on the feet it felt fine um so i think the Saucony triumph line is really interestingly becoming a shoe that is it's almost like a max cushion daily shoe as opposed to just a max cushion shoe uh, and we're seeing this a lot with shoes at the moment where some shoes that are traditionally associated with being max cushioned or just for those easy runs or those long runs are actually there's a bit more to them now and the triumph is really a great example of, of that for me it's almost just like a daily shoe that has a lot of cushioning in it as opposed to a max cushion shoe that can handle a few of the runs it's really good at that. Um, and over that course of the run today, I didn't I didn't mind having this shoe on at all, especially e even for a, a session like that. Uh, other things I'll say about the shoe is that that midsole phone, that Paran Plus midsole phone is great. It's one of the best you get at the moment on a, on a heavily cushioned shoe. It feels nicely soft, not too soft. It's a nicely balanced foam, um, but there's a little bit of a pop in it as well, which I really like about this shoe. It's the same midsole foam that's in the 20, and I got a similar feel from that as well. I just felt like the shoe was bouncing me forward a little bit more than I'd expect from a, a max cushion shoe. So um, the other only thing to say about the shoe as well is the outsole is fantastic. It has been on the previous Triumphs for me. Um, it's pretty much the same as what you get on the Triumph 20. It's very good. There's a nice level of outsole rubber on it. Um, it feels very protective. Uh, it wasn't wet today, so I can't test it out. I couldn't test it out on the wet ground, but um, if it's the same outsole that was on the 20, it should be absolutely fine. Uh, and I was very impressed with that. Other than that, I think, um, yeah, it's just a solid, more of the same. If, if you know anything about the uh, Triumph 20, you'll, you're you not going to be surprised by this shoe. Um, but I just it's a really nice continuation of the line um, for me and does exactly the same thing as the predecessor. Okay, so my early verdict on the Saucony Triumph 21 is that it's... Pretty, it's a very minimal update of the Saucony Triumph 20. Um, but that shoe, as I mentioned earlier in the video, is one of our favorite shoes. All of the run testers are a big fan of that shoe. Uh, and recently we've made it our uh, the top cushioned shoe in our best running shoes guide. So um, it's just a fantastic, versatile cushion shoe. It can do a lot of stuff. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's a sort of shoe that um for somebody like me i can use it for lots of different runs i can use it for easy runs i can use it for longer runs but also like today it's just got a bit more to it so if i was going on a holiday and i wanted one pair of shoes and to do a lot of different runs in um it would be a good option for that whereas something like the new balance more v4 i probably wouldn't want to do any faster runs in that i would only use it for longer runs and easy runs because of that it's also probably really good shoe for people that just want to buy one shoe and you want a shoe that can do all of your runs. Maybe you're not going for like a sub three marathon or something. You just want to, to have a shoe that is quite versatile, but really skews more towards the training efforts, the daily runs, the longer runs, all that sort of thing. But you could use it for a race like half marathon or a marathon to get you across the finish line. And it's just got a bit more to it. There's lots of cushion shoes that you might train in you're probably not going to want to run a marathon in those shoes just because they're not going to help you. I think there's a bit more to the to the Triumph 21 than that and the Triumph 20. Uh, the only other thing I would say about the this shoe is that 
I probably would pick up this, the Triumph 20. I've not really noticed any differences in this shoe from that from that run uh, over the Triumph 20. Love the Triumph 20, so it's, that's not a bad thing to either of the shoes, but it just means that if you can get the Triumph 20 cheaper, you're probably not gonna lose a lot out of that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's probably not worth the investment to get this shoe over that. Okay, so that's it from me on the Saucony Triumph 21 first run. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, all of those things. And don't forget to check the channel out for all the other videos we've got. If you go into the caption below, you can also find a link to our podcast, uh, which comes out at the end of each month. If you like it, please leave us a rating and I'll be really happy. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time.